प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी लॉन्च द याद करो कुर्बानी सेलिब्रेशन एट द बर्थ प्लेस ऑफ फ्रीडम फाइटर चंद्रशेखर आजाद एट अलीराजपुर इन मध्य प्रदेश टू मार्क सेवेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस एंड सेवेंटी फोर ईयर्स ऑफ क्विट इंडिया मूवमेंट प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑल्सो पेट फ्लोरल ट्रिब्यूट एट चंद्रशेखर आजाद बर्थ प्लेस एंड विजिटेड एन एग्जीबिशन रिलेटेड टू द लाइफ ऑफ द फ्रीडम फाइटर On this occasion addressing a rally in Ali Rajpur Madhya Pradesh Prime Minister Narendra Modi said 75 years ago Mahatma Gandhi asked the Britishers to quit India and today is a fitting moment to remember all those who made it possible for us to breathe in free air Prime Minister said that a handful of misguided and disgruntled youth are causing a lot of harm to the great tradition of Kashmir assuring the youth of Kashmir PM said the center will make all efforts to address their concern and provide them employment opportunities referring to former pm atal bihari vajpay pm said he is following the path shown by vajpay ji for the solution of the kashmir problem prime minister narendra modi described bjp's proposed tiranga yatra to mark 70 years of independence day as a symbol of social harmony and unity addressing bjp parliamentary party meeting in new delhi pm promoted the yatra as a message to spread harmony and asked party mps to put in efforts to make it a success Union Minister M Venkaiah Naidu paid floral tributes to freedom fighters who sacrificed their lives for the country's freedom during an event in August Kranti Maidan in Mumbai. This is the park where Mahatma Gandhi had launched the Quit India movement in 1942. In the meeting of the BJP Parliamentary Board in New Delhi, Finance Minister and MOS Finance's efforts on the passage of GST bill were appreciated. A patriotic song dedicated to Tiranga Yatra was also presented during the meeting. Kashmir unrest issue to be discussed in Rajya Sabha tomorrow at 11 a.m. Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh said situation in Kashmir is very serious and the government is ready to find the solution with the support of other political parties. Motor Vehicle Amendment Bill 2016 was introduced in Lok Sabha with an aim to improve road safety. The bill proposes to increase penalties to act as deterrent against traffic violations. Bill seeks to increase compensation for hit and run cases to 2 lakh rupees. Mumbai police submitted its report on Zakir Naik to Maharashtra government stating that prime facie there are evidences to restrict his speeches in Maharashtra the report highlights about how Zakir Naik created prejudice against other religions and tried to justify violence in the name of jihad former chief minister of Arunachal Pradesh Kali Kupul found dead at his residence in Itanagar police investigation underway pm said his service to Arunachal Pradesh will be remembered RBI keeps key policy rates unchanged retains GDP growth projection at 7.6% for 2016-17 this is the last bimonthly monetary policy review by Raghuram Rajan ED questioned Himachal Pradesh Chief Minister Virbhadra Singh's wife Pratibha in connection with an alleged money laundering case ED is probing allegations against Virbhadra and his family members of having amassed wealth to the tune of 6.1 crore rupees between 2009-11 Rajasthan High Court rejected the bail plea of self-styled Godman Asaram. This was the ninth regular bail application of Asaram to be rejected. Asaram is facing rape charges. The Japanese city of Nagasaki marked 71 years since its destruction by a US atomic bomb. Bomb was dropped on Nagasaki 3 days after US dropped the first ever atom bomb on Hiroshima which ultimately killed 140,000 people. Heartbreaks continue for India at Rio Olympics. Men's hockey team loses to Germany conceding a goal in the dying moments. Shooter Abhinav Bindra misses the bronze medal by a whisker. Women's hockey team loses to Great Britain.